Greetings. Thank you for joining me today. You are watching Spotlight on Education. I'm your host, Tina Duckett, and you will learn so much about the Troop County School System. Joining me in the studio today is Ms. Jan Franks, Principal of West Point Elementary School. Thank you, Ms. Jan, for joining me. It's a pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. Yes, we just love to have our principals on so we can learn so much about the Troop County School System. But before we get into all of what's happening at West Point Elementary School, why don't you share with our audience a little bit about your career path in the Troop County School System? Okay. I've been in education for 21 years. I began teaching at West Point Elementary, third grade. I taught there for 10 years and then moved into the position of instructional specialist at Mountville Elementary School. Um, later, a few years later, I became principal there at Mountville and returning back to West Point Elementary as principal. This is my second year there, so I guess you could say I've come full circle. I'm back to where I started from. And so how many total years was that again in um, education? 21 years. Wow. Yeah, that's... that's it's flown. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. And you were saying earlier in our conversation before the mm -hmm. show started that you are now seeing your students registered their children, the, the grown-ups now? Absolutely. <laughs> I really didn't want you to share that, Ms. Duckett. <laughs> well, but it is, it is a very unique situation in that um, parents, some of our younger parents there at West Point are actually former students that I taught in third grade yeah. um, you know, 18 years ago. So well, we know that time, time flies, but it's, it's a testament of your commitment <laughs> and dedication. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, tell us more about West Point Elementary staff as far as your administration. How many teachers do you have this okay. year? Um, Zelma Brock is our instructional specialist okay. and we have 59 faculty, um, faculty and staff and uh, 411 students. On oh, all. okay. And that's pre-K through Pre-K through fifth, fifth grade. grade. Good, That's correct. good, okay. Well, let's go into what's new at West Point Elementary School. So this year, and we know that all principals establish goals and they work with mm -hmm. school councils, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later. But tell us what are some of the goals for West Point Elementary School. Okay, well at West Point, the community, um, students, teachers, parents, we all believe in working together to provide the very best education for our students. Um, we have a very rigorous curriculum, it's individualized, and we're able to meet the individual needs of our students um, through technology as well as higher order thinking. We also integrate the content, so it's not unusual to see students in, say, social studies class learn about Paul Revere. Um, then you go to reading and they're reading about Paul Revere. Okay. In art class, they might be sharing um, just different pieces during that particular time in history. In fact, our fifth graders, each year they complete a production, um, Integrating Fine Arts. So last year it was grooving through the 60s. They actually tie in what they've learned within social studies, math, they pull it all together and it's a very entertaining production. Okay, now I, I'd like to go back if you don't mind. Sure. You mentioned higher order thinking. Mm -hmm. For our audience today, tell us what that is, just in simple terms. Okay, basically instead of just simple recall of a particular content, um, you ask a question and the student just simply responds. Higher order thinking requires the students to use the knowledge they have and apply it. So you may see that through writing. Um, it's just a way to get them to really think. We're trying to produce kids that that actually think through problems. There's not just one way to solve a problem, but to actually think through it. And um, the kids, they do incredible work. Okay, now is that something that we just do here locally, or is that a state mandate? Or will um, we find that in most school systems? Okay, the depth of knowledge is the, it's the buzzword um, with our Common Core curriculum that's new this year. But we, we're always wanting to create students that are good thinkers, that think through, that just can't recall the basic math facts, but they come up with different strategies on how to solve the problems. Mm. So, um, you know, in the workforce today, I would think several 
companies want students or want employ employers that actually think through situations. Yes. So that's what we're trying to do, even as young as elementary school. I believe that that is important. And and in our discussions, a lot of times in education, we talk about producing a well-rounded child. Mm -hmm. And tell, tell me what that means when you say, when we hear the terms well-rounded, what are we talking about as, as far as education is concerned? Okay. Well, I picture a well-rounded child as being um, a, a child that's good at school. They work hard, but they also like to play. Um, and they know how to be a good friend. They know how to get along with others. It's a balance. It's all of those um, things. Okay. All right. And you have different programs in place at West Point Elementary School that help to develop the academic side of a child, the, the educational side, and the social side. So talk about uh, what programs you have in place. Okay. Um, at West Point, we feel that academics and character go hand in hand. Um, we expect our students to be respectful, show integrity, and use a strong work ethic. And they deliver. We set high expectations and they come through every time. Um, we do use the eight keys of excellence. Just to name a few, these would include failure leads to success, speak with good purpose, ownership, flexibility. So those are some of the eight keys that we use within our character program. And for the sake of our audience and for mm -hmm. me as well, sure. uh, what are the eight keys of excellence? Okay. They are simply principles or rules to live by, not just for students but as adults as well. Um, just reminders of making the right choices and how to live your life. Um, this came to us through quantum learning. Um, Quantum was funded through Title I funding um, years ago and what we try to do at West Point, we try to spotlight our students when we see that they are exhibiting one of the keys or we see them working very hard in the classroom then teachers will complete a happy gram. It's mm -hmm. simply a little colored slip of paper, has the student's name on it, and they check off what they saw the child doing. We read that over the intercom. Um, that the kids love it. Those are also <laughs> yeah. sent home so that parents can see just the awesome things that the children are doing at school. Okay. Now you, you mentioned quantum learning mm -hmm. and that is, um, a, is that a professional development training? What, what is that? It is. Um, quantum just a little bit about that. Basically quantum learning are different techniques to engage students in learning. Um, it's the students pair up, share, uh, st they changes of state, meaning that the students do different little chants and they may get up and um, just to refocus on the lesson. Okay. And you again mentioned that character is a big piece for West Point Elementary in addition to academics. So you have additional character based programs. We do. So share with us about your character council. Okay. Character council is comprised of fourth and fifth grade students. These students are elected by their teachers. It is um, an honor to be on um, the character council. And they serve as our leaders of the school. Primarily, they work with several service projects. Um, for instance, recently we collected eyeglasses and cell phones for our local Lions Club site day. Um, we also collected canned foods, non-perishable items for the uh, local food closet in West Point. So it's just a great way for students to give back to the community. Um, we have lots of community support at West Point and it's just important for the students to see how they can help as um, community members as well. And I know when the students are participating, they oftentimes will engage their parents. Yes. And parental support is, is key to education, period. It, without the support of a guardian or a mentor, adult mentor, or someone just 
in the corner of that child. That makes a huge difference in their performance. Is that true? Absolutely. Okay, so I know that that's a, uh, one of the main focuses of West Point Elementary School is to continue to promote and engage parents in the learning process. So tell us what you all do to engage parental support. Okay, we have um, several parental involvement activities. We have family lunch days. Those are set by grade level. And recently, for instance, we had fifth grade family lunch day. So um, parents could come out, eat lunch with their children, and afterwards stay for a parent activity. Our fifth grade teachers modeled math strategies. And um, at that point, students sat with their parents, worked through some math problems. As we mentioned earlier, the higher order thinking, mm -hmm. working through the different solutions to solve a math problem. And it was very unique in that by the end of the training or the activity, the students became the teachers and the parents became the students. So um, parents were raising their hands with uh, wanting to share their answers and how they solved the math problem. So just a great way for parents to see what their children are learning in the classroom. And I would say that's key because I have children in, this, in the school mm -hmm. system and some of the strategies are totally different. Absolutely. Is that not true, yes. especially with math? <laughs> yes, they are. Um, many times we receive a phone call and parents say, okay, talk to me about this new math. Mm -hmm. um, and so they, it's a different way. It's teaching kids to think through. I know when I was in school, I was just taught, well, this is the way you do it and you just do the it. The process. Exactly. Yeah, that's the process. But now um, we're teaching our, t our students why we follow different procedures and that um, you know, maybe there's another way that you can solve, a more effective mm -hmm. way to solve the problem, just rather than just the algorithm. And that is developing critical thinking skills, okay. which are essential sure. to just your adult life, being productive. Okay, so you collaborate, and when I say you, West Point Elementary mm -hmm. School collaborates with several partners, either through your, and businesses through the school council or partners in education. And tell us what these particular entities are and how they support West Point Elementary School. Okay. Our school council and um, our partners at West Point Elementary just work, play a very active role in supporting our school initiatives. They serve as mentors to some of our students as well as tutors. They provide teacher incentives as well as, well as student incentives. Uh, recently, one of our partners just refurbished an outdoor courtyard area hmm. with new benches, a goldfish pond, and bird feeders. So wow. just a nice, uh, natural area for the students to go read a book. Classes can go out. Um, they can do a book study and just simply enjoy being outside in nature. And I know the kids enjoy that as well as the teachers because it breaks up the monotony of just the traditional classroom setting, so they get to enjoy nature Absolutely. in this new refurbished uh, playground, is it? It's uh, just a, a little courtyard, courtyard oh, okay. area. Okay, okay so um, in addition to working with your partners, I know that you have uh, extracurricular activities mm -hmm. for students. Now, do your partners help to fund some of those programs? for students or is that something that the school sponsors? The school primarily sponsors our extracurricular activities. Uh, we do have a character chorus. Uh, students that are interested, they must audition. Um, so once they audition and they're a member of the chorus, they participate in various school activities or they will perform at community events. One one particular trip that they love and the seniors enjoy, they travel to the Senior Center in West Point and share their musical talents. So that's always a highlight for the seniors and the children as well. Yes. Okay. We also have um, an academic bowl team. They compete system-wide and within the um, region, uh, Re RESA area, mm -hmm. just competing in trivia type questions, how fast you buzz in and answer different uh, questions on a variety of topics. So that's primarily fourth and fifth and on occasion third grade students are a part of the academic bowl team and they meet weekly. So they're 
very driven and competitive. <laughs> now, do they compete all year long, or is this just for a set time? Um, it's usually a portion of the year they're already practicing now, okay. and that will continue on until about February or March. Okay. So, a majority part of the year. We also have a newspaper staff, and they simply create the newspaper quarterly for our school, and they do it all. They take the pictures, interview, write the articles. Uh, it's just it's pretty cool to see all of that come together and the students enjoy producing it and the other students enjoy reading it. And all of your extracurricular activities, are they led by teacher sponsors? Is that how that? They are. Who helps to supervise that? They are. Okay, as we approach the um, holiday season, I know that there are a number of activities that are taking place in the community. Are there events taking place at West Point Elementary School that you'd like to share? Yes. Okay. Um, on November the 29th, we'll have a pre-K family activity day. We invite all of our pre-K families to come out, enjoy lunch, and stay for an activity with our pre-K students. Also, if you are interested in Christmas parades, we do have the Greater Valley West Point Area Christmas Parade on December the 6th and West Point Elementary will be participating in that as well. And uh, roughly how many students are engaged in, in your pre-K? We have 44. We have two pre-K okay. classrooms. Okay, and with your Christmas parade, is that, can parents become involved in that? Or Absolutely. PTO um, puts together a float. Actually, we'll have our Mr. and Miss West Point Elementary. Okay. Um, they will be riding as well as the court, so it's a it's a fun night for everyone. Now to hear Mr. <laughs> and Miss West Point mm -hmm. Elementary School, tell me what that entails. We've we've got a little time, and we can talk okay. about that. Okay, um, that's a PTO uh, event that um, students that would like to participate. Um, they raise money for our PTO, and we actually have a little Mr. West Point Elementary. Um, we have a little Miss West Point Elementary and a Miss West Point Elementary. Oh, okay. So those um, children competed last week and they will ride on the float with the court. We have others that will also be riding as well. And is this all grade levels? to participate uh, yes. in the, mm -hmm. the competition. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, congratulations to those students. Absolutely. <laughs> and their families. And we thank you for joining us today. If uh, a, a community member or a parent would like to contact the school, do you have website information or phone number you'd like to share? Oh, uh, sure. sure. Um, if you would like to contact the school, you can contact 706. 812-7973. Our West Point line is 706-643-3000. And of course, we do have a website. You can simply go to the Troop County website and select West Point Elementary School. We look forward to um, hearing from you and would be glad to take you on a tour so that you're able to see the outstanding things happening at West Point. And again, thank you, Ms. Jan you. Franks, Principal of West Point Elementary School, for joining me today. And thank you to our audience for watching. We are so glad that you tuned in today. Thank you to LGTV for making this show possible. And again, remember to keep the spotlight on education. Thank you for watching.